Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now, did you come to the wrong channel? No. I've actually highlighted some of the food, in fact, just to share with you our Hawker Food Centre culture, which is actually normally as the uh, World Heritage Culture in Singapore, or should I say worldwide. Now, this is actually the URL that I'm going to show you. You can actually get to know more about food culture, how we preserve our authentic food, and how it's been served in Singapore. As you can see here, right, it's actually gathered in the center itself whereby various stall is selling different kinds of food so if you're interested i'll leave the uh, url at my description now speaking of which right for those of you who are actually staying at Katip mrt there is this nearby food noodle stall known as weiwei noodle stall they serve very good noodles and their specialties is in fact the uh, soup dumpling so if you guys are interested, you can actually give it a try. I'll leave this uh, Facebook URL on my description and the address is actually written on the Facebook itself. All right, now back to the uh, O11D mini mode. In my previous video, you have actually witnessed how I did my top panel as in like showing you what's the final result. Now, how I actually do the top panel is making use of these tools here, a steel rule, a pen knife, a Zecto blade and a piece of cloth. Now there are various kind of vernier sheet. This is actually meant for cabinets, kitchen cabinets. Same goes to this. I know this looks brushed aluminium but I'm not going to use this on the panel itself. The vernier sheet that you're going to use right is actually mainly for vehicle, meaning to say for automobile. And just to show you what's the difference now this is actually of a wall vinyl sheet. If you can see the uh, texture itself, the sticky side right, is actually pretty um, flat. Else for vehicle type of vinyl sheet is like that. It gives off a kind of like a reptile kind of texture and it's very durable. And how do I actually go by sticking this vernier on a piece of alcoholic itself? First of all, you need to actually prep the surface by cleaning it. But of course, on your new case itself, right, there is this protective sheet. So you just peel off the uh, plastic piece. And for me, right, I'll go to the extra amount of cleaning it first before I apply. Then once you know that your surface is clean, right, just peel off a bit. Now, for alkalic surfaces, right, I would to advise you to actually leave a bit out then press it with your cloth. This is small, so that's why I'm actually using my index finger. But if it's big, right, just fold your cloth like that and, you know, bit by bit, pushing it down. So once it's done, right, once it's flat, you can use the whole cloth to press on the uh, alkalic, on the uh, vernisher itself. And then over here, bend. Now, don't assume that when you bend, you will stick. See, you will just comes out. So what you need to do is actually to use a hair dryer. Do not use a heat gun, okay? It will melt the alkaline. So use a hair dryer with moderate temperature. Just go over it. And don't stay at the location at one point. Now I'm just going to show you how it's been done.
Next will be actually shortening the uh, cables so that it's easier for cable management. Now I've actually got this halo here. So it's pretty long if you daisy chain them. See this cable is super duper long. So what I've actually done right, for each of this halo I've actually shortened the uh, cables itself. Now do take note if you were to shorten the cables right, you will not be able to sell this off. Tools that I've actually used right, is mainly this. A wire cutter, or should I say a snipple? Then this is actually the crimple itself. And of course, a sharp wire cutter. And the pins that I'm actually using, right, or the connectors that I'm using is actually the JST 03 and 04. This is actually 4 pin. This is actually 3 pin. I like to use this kind of connectors because it's secured. See? And of course, the pins itself. And besides that, I do use the uh, shouldering iron, shouldering flux, the uh, shouldering beads, and of course this new toy here that I do not have in the past, this is actually the uh, so-called hand assistant. Now just to show you how I did the shortening.
this part will be very interesting for me, but not to all. Because a lot of you have been actually using these uni fans and yeah, they did a great job, but I am not in favor of them. I'm just keeping this as a collection. Now, on the halo itself and on the fan itself, right, I've actually done some modes, simple modes, by just using this highlighters, or should I say this uh, Artline Supreme Marcus. This is actually metallic grey. And this is actually UV reactive coming from the brand called Moloto. Thanks to Yusof who actually recommended this brand to me. And it's known as uh, Graphex. Now, in order to actually, as you can see, this is actually the original um, Halo. It doesn't come with any pattern or such, which I've actually done this. See, the highlights on the metallic grey and the UV. Same goes to the uh, fans itself. And how I go by, right, for those of you who are actually having unsteady hands, right, always place your whole hand on the surface itself. Grab the item that you want to actually um, highlight. Then just place it this way and highlight. All right. Same goes to this. And how to actually apply the uh, UV reactive paint? I use cotton buds. So again, anger it in a way that it's actually stable and your hand is actually, uh, I, mean, I mean your index, or should I say the middle finger is actually placing on the um, fan itself. Then having a stable motion, right, you can just smudge, or should I say just paint it. It's best to actually go one pass through and not, you know, doing this way. If you do, do it this way, right, you will feel that you will have, uh, I should say irregular paints on the uh, material itself. So make sure it's one direction and one go, that's it. Same goes to your marker. It will leave a very nice line. Now to show you the actual work. There you have it. This is only part of the modification I've done on this project. I'm still waiting for some items to actually arrive. And from there, I will proceed on with other modes on this project itself. So for those of you who want to catch what I've been doing in future and to complete the whole project, do remember to subscribe and to hit on the notification bell. All right then, take care. Goodbye. See ya.